This green slip is the permit for North Coyote Buttes, otherwise known as the Wave, as shown in that mural back there, right there. It is the most elusive place to ever get to because of the competition on winning a lottery permit like this. And then this blue one is South Coyote Buttes. It is a permit for the other end of it, which is a little less competitive, but also very competitive. So how did I win both of these? When hundreds of thousands of people enter every year and only 20 people are selected per day. And on top of that, I've been here to pick up the lottery permits. Only a small fraction of those even show up when they win the lottery. I only saw one other person today. Crazy, right? Well, the answer is you have to enter the lottery. Um, and I've, I've been here for a long time asking people if there's any way you can get an edge. And I've only found a couple edges on my own, but other than that, there's really nothing. I've asked the tour guides, everyone, they tell me there's no edge, nothing you can really do. No one has an advantage. Uh, the tour guides don't have some type of special way. You just have to enter the lottery. So how did I do it? How did I achieve this? Well, first and foremost, the first tip I have for you is you got to do the daily lottery. And that's only doable if you're within the geofence area, um, which is like near Kanab. And for those of you thinking you could VPN in, uh, you have to do it on your phone. So it's maybe it's still possible. I didn't VPN in, but uh, you have to show up the next day. You're, you, you're announced you won that evening at like 7 p.m. Mountain Time. You have to show up the next morning or your permit is void. So the best way is what I did, which is you actually uh, you know, travel here and you live here and you enter the lottery every day until you win. And so that's really what I did. I tried for so long and um, I won South Coyote Buttes. Uh, because I stopped, I, I stopped believing I could win the, uh, the North for a while. And I thought the South was just as beautiful. I won the South. That one's much easier, less people are competing. Um, but if you try and just do the advanced lottery, which is, you know, you can enter only once every month in advance. Um, the problem with that is you're competing with thousands upon thousands of people. If you enter daily, the odds are still tough, but you're competing with hundreds. And every day, you have another chance. You can toss your hat in the ring. So that's what I recommend, daily entries. And um, it was really poetic because, you know, I tried for one week and my car broke down on my way here. So I lost half the week living up in some small town in, in Utah. Richfield. I decided I'll extend for one more week. I try again. I didn't win. And then I said, as a last ditch effort, I will extend for one more week and just try every day. And on uh, long story short, I won. And I won on my birthday too. I'm so excited. I can't believe it. Um, it's a dream come true. But that's how you do it. Uh, you pick up the permits here. Uh, the permits, um, you, the first top half you, you put on your car the second half you keep in your pocket on your drive here to the the wave or uh, south coyote buttes and that's how you do it um to win you basically there's really no edge other than applying as much as you can and as often as you can and if you can do the daily lottery the the um best way is to just be near this area that way you can actually be in the geofence and you can actually you know get here to pick up the permit it's crazy how people win it's so sought after and yet when people win they don't show up um but yeah I, i'm one of the lucky few who did it i'm so excited and um the advanced lottery i tried that for a while too for months months and months in advance because i'm doing this road trip so um you know I knew I was coming here. I didn't win, never. I know people, 
I've heard of people, I've talked to people who know people who have been trying just the advanced lottery for like 13 years before they won. So you got to try the daily lottery. And I guess the second and uh, final tip is uh, you can apply with more than one account. So if you have family members um, have, and you can afford it, have everyone create an account or multiple accounts and you can apply to the daily lottery for each one. And then of course weekdays are better than weekends. There's less competition on weekdays. Winters are better than summers uh, and peak hours like I won it in September which is the peak time very competitive but um, I talked to the guys here who you know run the lottery every day and they say even winters are very competitive 